A rapid bus route that will connect downtown to Wauwatosa breaks ground. The project's been in the work for years. It's being touted as a first in the state undertaking. It's going to use battery powered buses and it looks to bring some relief to the region's most congested corridor. Jason Calvi has more on the route. It's not your normal bus line. Buses is too slow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather call an Uber or I might even jump on a scooter. Coming late 2020, you'll be able to jump on the East West Bus Rapid Transit, BRT. This BRT is a BFD. To move the electric buses quickly, stoplights will give them priority. They'll also have some exclusive traffic lanes. It'll connect downtown on Wisconsin past Marquette to Blue Mound, 92nd, the Milwaukee Regional Medical Center, a total of nine miles, up to 17 stops, all the way to the Watertown Plank Park and Ride. In our car in the middle of the day, it took us about 23 minutes to make the route. For the buses, it'll take about 40 minutes. Hey. And one of those future stops is the site of the ceremonial groundbreaking here at 27th Street and Wisconsin Avenue. Whether it's helping kids get to school, workers get to work, or encouraging visitors to stop at one of Milwaukee's great restaurants or small businesses, the BRT will make it easier to get around. Mario Harvey wishes he had the option earlier, like when he welcomed a baby. The hospitals do not allow you to leave without a car, but we still did anyways. Okay. We took the bus, and it took a long time. And soon he'll have a new, faster option. You can see construction already underway here at the Watertown Plank Park and Ride in Wauwatosa. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. BRT buses are expected to run every 10 minutes during morning and afternoon rush hours. Digital displays at stops will let you know exactly when the next bus will arrive. And fares will be the same as other Milwaukee County Transit System buses. Currently, two bucks a ride using the app or M card.